Hey everyone, it's Ross, and I want to show you guys a little technique that I use to overwinter a lot of my potted fruit trees, potted shrubs, all kinds of things, um, outdoors all winter. So I'll leave them out here all winter time. They survive. I haven't killed a single one yet. Um, so what I'm doing is essentially gathering up these fruit trees here that are in containers and putting them in one little small area. Um, you can see this little row here. This is where I have them all. And it's a nice little forest that I've created. And basically, we're going to take some straw and really simply just cover the sides of the pots with straw. Even the tops of the pots. We want to cover the entirety of it. Um, you can see that the pots here are exposed. We're going to have to come in here because the, the straw has settled. We have to come in here a second time and add a little bit more straw. We really want to cover the pots with the straw because it acts as a, an insulation, but it also acts, and this is probably the most important thing that I've, I've learned by doing this, um, it covers the sides of the pots from the heat or the sunlight in the springtime. So it's, it's possible if, for example, this black pot is exposed to the sunlight this is going to warm up pretty quick and if the root zones of these plants these trees they warm up after a certain number of chill hours here they're going to wake up so it's important that this this straw is also acting as one obviously acting as an insulator but it's also acting at, to cool things down so that's what we're doing is we've essentially just uh, gathered all them up added the straw now here's the little tip. Here's the here's the thing I think will make a difference here. Um, if you live in a colder place than I do, okay, um, you really want to pay attention to how hardy the roots of these plants are. Because for one, I'm in zone seven, so these are pears. It's probably hardy to about zone five. You know, we have some che trees in here, which are probably hardy to zone six or so. Jujubes hardy to zone five. You know, there's all kinds of things in here that are quite hardy, that are hardier than it than it gets cold here. So, um, you know, if it's zero degrees here in the winter time, this wood is going to survive because it's hardy to zone five, right? It's hardy to probably negative twenty degrees Fahrenheit. So, by doing that, by knowing that. I can pretty much guarantee that the the plants, the wood, the the upper part of the plant is going to survive, okay? So if the, the upper part is going to survive, the only thing I have to worry about now is the roots because the roots have a different hardiness rating than the, uh, the wood. A prime example of this, my fig trees here which are on the patio, they're gonna go into winter storage because they can't handle our winters. The wood is hardy on very few trees to zero degrees Fahrenheit. On other trees, it's hardy to maybe 10, 15 degrees, 20 degrees Fahrenheit. But on all of these varieties, um, I can leave all of my trees out here till about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. If the root zones of these plants get exposed to temperatures below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, I will certainly get some damage on these trees. The pomegranate's probably very similar, right? Some of these varieties can be quite hardy to zone seven, zero degrees Fahrenheit, but the roots, I don't necessarily know how hardy the roots are of these trees. So it's important that uh, if you're dealing with, obviously these are two subtropical species, right? Th these are born in the desert in the Middle East, right? That's where they originate. But, you know, if I've got trees that originated here or, you know, are pretty well adapted here, like apples and pears and stone fruits, you know, you can bet that their roots are going to be quite hardy. And the wood may survive. And so will the, the roots. And I'm, I'm willing to bet that the, you know, if the wood is hardy to about zone six, it's probably very likely that the the wood is also hardy to zone six and it's a temperate it's a temperate fruit you know i haven't seen any evidence suggesting that uh these trees have taken any damage whatsoever here so 
Uh, I think it's pretty likely that if you're doing this in zone seven, you're gonna have immense success. If you're gonna do this in a colder place like zone six or zone five, you really need to be careful of what you are overwintering outside. But for me, I've had, uh, again, immense success. And I hope this all works out for you guys. All right, so that's pretty much the video. The only tip really is just cover the pots on all sides and make sure that whatever you are overwintering, it's really quite hardy for your area. You know, like blueberries are hardy like to zone four, things like that. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.